Arts and crafts was a movement that originated in the Victorian era in England. At this time, the Industrial Revolution was in full swing. Though it brought many innovations to the lives of everyday people, it left a portion of the working class population unsatisfied with the production of goods. Before industrialization, there was a high demand for quality, handcrafted items created by skilled individuals. However, the factories and machines of the Industrial Revolution took that human element out of the equation. The movement was spearheaded by one William Morris. Morris believed that the new age of industrialization dehumanized labor. This inspired him to champion the movement through his own work. Morris once said, Have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. William Morris was known for his influential wallpaper designs. Other influential figures include Gustav Stickley, who became famous for his handcrafted furniture, and the eccentric Charles Robert Ashby, who created everything from jewelry to architecture. These were pioneers of the movement responsible for spreading it to the working class communities across the English-speaking world and beyond. The style of pieces from this movement varied heavily depending on time and place, but one style was consistent across cultures. That was the depiction of natural elements. Twisting vines and beautiful symmetrical floral patterns were commonplace, and would eventually go on to inspire the Art Nouveau movement. Arts and crafts was more than just making art for art's sake. It approached the creation of everyday objects. After the First World War, the arts and crafts movement began to lose steam in the English Isles. However, thanks to Chicago's Arts and Crafts Society, the movement was alive and spreading throughout urban and rural America long after its demise in England. The arts and crafts movement led on to heavily influence the Art Nouveau movement, with many citing William Morris as a major inspiration for their work. However, manufacturing of handmade crafts is labor-intensive and time-consuming. At the turn of the century, mainstream taste drifted away from the arts and crafts movement and more towards neoclassicism. Despite the decline, the movement was still carried on by a few artists and collective artistic enterprises. The movement at large phased out through trickling down into the artistic minds of movements which followed, instead of falling into obscurity. In addition, aspects of the arts and crafts movement can still be found today, however, in a different form. Cheap products that normally use faux and synthetic materials mainly marketed in department stores today have elements of arts and crafts in those aspects. Arts and crafts communities still exist today, encouraging creation of handmade items. The proliferation of online retailers opened the door for amateur craft work to be sold to the public. The arts and crafts movement was monumental in dimensions that go just beyond art. It pioneered the ideas of art for social reform, and it was based on the idea that human involvement mattered in household items, including the house itself. Its influence on the generation of artists that followed could not be understated. No matter what movement is prominent in popular culture, there will always be a demand for the arts and crafts of the common man.